Hey, what's up? It's Matt with Enlightened Minds. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're having a good day. Hey, today I want to talk about mental illness, mental strength, and mental weakness, and discipline. Um, I think right now it needs to be talked about more than anything else because we are facing so many different situations in life where people are struggling. I guarantee every single one of you have something going on that you are watching that say you you have a story something that is it has been making it hard to get through or a struggle an obstacle you can do losing a job losing a family man there's so many things that are going on today in this time that people need to be at their top mentally strong mentally fit and we need to understand what mental illness is and how to deal with it and that's what I want to talk about today so be, but before we get started hit that subscribe button down below much appreciated it helps me get my content out there it helps me reach more people and I just really appreciate it so yeah if you could just hit that button one time and let's get started so I want to talk about um, mental illness um, today kind of from a personal experience because I dealt with mental illness for a long time I mean you could call it mental illness um, what what I feel it is is more is not being in control of your emotions not understanding things um, there's people that do have like schizophrenia that hear voices um, but what I'm talking about is like depression and anxiety and things like that and I used to have um, anxiety that would crush me I used to have depression that those times where I thought I was I was a drug addict I thought that I would ne life would never get better for me I could never get out of the situations I was in um, I was I was it found myself always blaming others for the situations I was in and that's part of I think the biggest thing you have to do to become mentally strong is take a responsibility for yourself taking responsibility for yourself and owning what what you're going through and dealing with it instead of running from it when you run from a problem you're not doing none it's like going to a doctor and you know I'm not a doctor but you go to a doctor and you tell them um, you feel depressed you have anxiety um, they normally don't ask you know what's your environment what have you what have you been through what are you dealing with they don't do that what do they do they write you off prescriptions they give you they give you certain medications this, this work they say this works this works but a side effect suicide uh, now why don't these doctors try to get down to the core of the issue you know the the thing that I want to do here is make people understand that you don't need all these medications um, you don't need all these these prescriptions to make your life better the thing is is when you dig deep down inside and you can look at yourself and you can see what what you have going on in your life and what you need to fix um, and you can take taking criticism taking criticism and asking for criticism is also one of the ways you can become mentally stronger discipline disciplining yourself and making sure you are staying disciplined and if you have goals that you're achieving those goals you're not giving up you're not falling back and if you do notice yourself falling back you get back up and you get back at it again you don't give up discipline if you if for example running you know there's running there's meditation there's yoga there's so many different um, expanding your knowledge of the world and what's going on I know a lot of times it can be depressing seeing everything in the world that's going on right now and that is causing a lot of people to have um, mental illness um, depression um, anxiety and I do this because it is artificially made they're artificially inducing fear and making you feel fear anxiety which makes you worried which makes you depressed and once you get out of this box that they that they are trying to keep you in and you realize that the answers are within yourself and take responsibility being disciplined 
getting out of your old ways, finding new ways, if you have to be around different people, you know, there's so many different circumstances that can, that can make a person strong or can make a person weak. And the, this is what I really want to touch on. And, and I think that's important is your surroundings is very important and you need to be very conscious of who you are having around and what you're doing on a daily basis because it can either bring you up or bring you down. Now say you take 30 minutes to meditate a day. Um, just do try that. For, <clears throat> sorry, my voice. Try that for a week and um, you know, see if it helps. See if um, the meditation can help you bring you to a, a lower, a lower just you know, um, your mind where you're not thinking so much. You know, because meditation will can solve anxiety, can solve depression. But the doctors won't tell you this. They want to give you the pills because what, well, whatever for whatever reason. You know, I'm gonna leave that out of there. But the I'm trying to show you that. That meditation, because I used, to, I used to be on all sorts of, you know, depression pills. And that's why I'm trying to come from this as a personal experience. Because I was on all these meds and all these different things. And I found that it only, it only fogged me up and made me more, like, numb to life. And, and that might be, you know, it might help some people. But when you come off all of that stuff and you deal with life and you deal with what's really going on and you take responsibility you discipline yourself you you know change your habits change your environment change the people there's so many different things that you can do and um, gain knowledge of the world um, mental illness is is a uh, is a very dangerous thing there's people that commit suicide on, on levels that are that that are heartbreaking to me right now and it's because people don't understand that they there's a way out there's a way out you just gotta f never give up every time someone goes into a struggle they give up right away you you go through something difficult you give up if you give up you are never gonna make it to that next level you're never gonna make it past that obstacle you're never gonna make it to where you want to be in life if you keep giving up every time something gets hard you have to discipline take responsibility mental illness affects more people than you probably realize it affects people that probably don't even talk about it that just deal with it and this is the thing is we need to start digging inside of ourselves and finding what's causing this anxiety what's causing this depression we and we need to get to the root core and we need to figure out what it is so that way we can bring it up here and deal with it and let it go because once you let things go you can move on you can move forward in life and you can get out of that depressed state of mind out of that anxiety state of mind this is so important and I think everybody should have these this knowledge in these tools and if you look through my videos I have lots of different videos uh, um, explaining how to get out of depression anxiety how um, people get in depression anxiety learned helplessness I'll leave a link above um, there's a lot of things that people don't understand that if they understand and just took these tools they wouldn't have to take all these prescription pills they could get through their life they could become mentally fit mentally strong and when you're mentally strong you're unstoppable so that kind of sums it up. Um, please share this on your timeline. There's someone that needs to hear this. There's someone that needs to that just needs to hear this. And I think there's so many people struggling right now that that if people more people hear this and more people come to this knowledge of of getting out of way the finding ways to get out of depression and anxiety, I think we could um, be in a lot better state of being. And I think that's that's what we need the most and that's what I'm trying to do. I hope you got something from this video. And once again, if you haven't already, hey, please hit that subscribe button down below. Much appreciated. It helps me build this channel. Helps me reach more people and just and reach people that need to hear this message. I love you all and I'll talk to you later.